Hey, you're finally here. We've been waiting for you for a while. Oh, you still remember us after studying at the Empire all these years. Well, I guess it's because I left a deep impression on you. <laughs> Lisa, remember how you were eagerly awaiting for the mayor to arrive a few days ago? Well, now that mayor is here, come and say hello. How have you been all this time? It must have been a long road. Hi there! Sorry for being late. I haven't introduced myself. I'm Pauline. I'm a merchant from the Swiftwood Guild to bring Mayor to his inherited territory. Seems like you two are craftsmen. I didn't know this town had any. Huh, that makes things a lot easier. <laughs> you seem to know your stuff. Let's continue talking once we get into town. Oh, before I forget. Mayor, can you sign this contract? Once the signature is completed, you will officially take office. Mayor, I don't know if you know this land. Why don't I teach you some bits and pieces? Your territory has been left unattended in recent years, and the surrounding areas are desolate. Even if you're not particularly focused on expansion, you should be cautious of the hidden dangers. It's still too early for that. Let's repair the town hall first. I'm afraid you'll have to stay here for now. Now, Please issue your first command as the mayor. I can't... After repairing the town hall, the next step will be working on the farmer's cottage. Likewise, after some repairs, these abandoned farmer cottages can be as good as new. You'll need pine woods to start repairs. You can get them from the trees around town. All right. The development of the town relies heavily on the hard work of the farmers. As the town gets bigger, We'll need more farmer's cottages to keep getting more farmers. We can upgrade farmer's cottages so they can house more farmers. Or we can keep building more residences. Either way, we'll be able to impact the town growth. Any building that produces goods will need to allocate farmers. Without them, production will stop. What a beautiful home! Thank you, Mayor. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Hmm. The farmer's cottage built with pine wood is quite sturdy, but the furniture inside looks poorly. Using pinewood to patch up the houses is just a temporary solution. While I was wandering around earlier, I came across a rundown refinery and bakery nearby. The bakery has suffered severe damage and may take some time to repair. However, the refinery seems to be relatively intact. With a little repair, it should be usable again. The refinery would allow us to transform raw logs into planks, which would greatly enhance the aesthetics and comfort of buildings. All right, leave it to me.
Skills are the core of production. A suitable manager needs to be selected to increase production. For example, Grant, who's skilled in woodworking, would be an excellent choice as the manager of the refinery. With the manager in place, we also need to assign farmers to work in the produce buildings. Everyone has their own role to play for the buildings to operate smoothly. Finally some action! Let's get busy and start working! Dad is so busy, he doesn't even have time to eat. I'm worried about him. Grant is so busy, mainly because the town is understaffed. How about recruiting some more farmers to help out? Upgrade the dining table in the farmer's cottage to house more farmers. Let's assign the new farmers to the refinery. And remember to always keep an eye on any vacant slots in the buildings. Mayor, Fora not only functions as the currency on the continent, but can also be utilized to upgrade characters, enhancing their attributes. When the stat of the manager is upgraded, the output of the corresponding buildings will also increase. Let's give Grant. I used to be a strong man back in the day. Time surely does fly. Mayor, residents need bread, but we are unable to make bread ourselves and there is not much left. We still have some wheat, which is the raw material for bread. Can we build a bakery to make some bread? Fixing up the place, it looks so much better than the one I saw in the city. All of this is because of the wise leadership and command of the mayor. Thank you, mayor. I'll treasure it. Make me the manager so I can make some delicious bread. Well, the more farmers we have, the higher the productivity. Let's build one more farmer's cottage. And don't forget to upgrade the dining table at the farmer's cottage. That's a simple way to increase the population. Mayor, can you assign some farmers for the bakery? I'm having trouble handling things. I've been 
thinking recently. I feel there are ways to improve, but I can't do it with my current abilities. Your bread is already excellent. Oh, it makes me warm and energetic, so no worries. Besides, we can start by gradually enhancing our abilities. Little by little, these incremental gains will lead to significant advancements. How's Dad's leg doing? I worry about him. Guess what I found by the seashore? Tiger shark? Uh, nothing. Go ahead, Grant. A port. It brings back memories of the bustling and prosperous scenes in the town over a decade ago. Countless vessels sailed back and forth for trade, while the marketplace buzzed with people. I don't know what happened over a decade ago, but Grant, it's important not to dwell too much on the past. Under the guidance of Mayor, we will undoubtedly revive the town. Yeah, you're right. I should stop thinking about that. Is the port still functional? If it is, we could start fishing and have a new food source. It may be too risky due to years of weather damage. Let me renovate it first. vacant Mayor, please assign some work for the new farmer who just arrived. <laughs> 